Research has shown that 50% of the causes of infertility are male related. And today, that is why I'm making this video. This is going to help us to understand what these causes are and if possible, seek the appropriate treatment. Now, when it comes to the causes of male infertility, there are a lot of factors which can lead to this. But before we dive into it, my name is Peace Tracy. I'm a registered nurse and midwife and I currently practice with NHS in England. I would like you to please subscribe to my channel because here we talk about women's health, fertility and everything else. So let's get started. The first on my list has to do with the testicles. The testicles, as we know, produce and store the sperm cells. So these testicles, when they are seriously damaged, this can affect the quality or even the quantity of the semen that is produced. So when there is problem with the testicles, it could be due to injury to the testicles, it could be due to cancer of the testicles, or it could also be due to surgeries in the testes. So things like this can cause damage to the testicles. Another thing could be when there is a congenital abnormality in the sense that one of the testicles did not descend at birth is actually a congenital disorder. It can happen to any male child. So it is usually not the person's fault. It's something that has to be diagnosed or through physical examination by a qualified healthcare professional. They will find out that, oh, one of the testicles is not there or even both are not there. So these are things that actually can cause male infertility. Hypogonadism is another major cause of male infertility. What is hypogonadism? Hypogonadism simply means when there is an abnormally low levels of the male sex hormone known as testosterone. So this testosterone as a male sex hormone is involved in making of the sperm cells. So when it is in low levels, it means that the man will not be able to make enough sperm cells needed to ensure that fertilization takes place. This condition can be caused by taking illegal drugs, tumor, or a rare genetic condition known as Klinefelter's syndrome. So what is Klinefelter's syndrome? Klinefelter syndrome is simply a genetic disorder which is usually there at birth. To explain it in simple terms, a male child is expected to have an X and Y chromosome. This X and Y chromosome are known as sex chromosomes. But you find out that a male child who has this Klinefelter syndrome will have what we call XXY. That means that person has an extra X instead of just an XY. Normally, a male child has what we call the X and Y chromosomes, while the female child will have what we call the X and X. But this X chromosome does not necessarily mean that it is a female chromosome. No, but the presence of that Y shows that that child is a male child. But the problem here is that in Klinefelter syndrome, this child now has an extra X chromosome, which is XXY instead of X and Y. So that is a rare genetic disorder. And men with this kind of condition usually have problems getting a woman pregnant. Certain medicines has been linked to male infertility. Medications like anabolic steroids, these medications are commonly used by athletes who use it to increase their muscle size and also improve their athletic performance. These kind of medications have been linked to infertility in males because they reduce pain counts and also reduce their mobility. Another medication that can cause infertility is chemotherapy medications. That's medications that are used for cancer treatment. So these medications also can destroy sperm cells. This is followed by low sperm counts. Low sperm count simply means when this man is able to produce some semen which contain these sperm cells, but they are not enough to cause fertilization of an egg. So this is something that is very common in most males who are experiencing infertility. And this is followed by another problem with the semen, which has to do with the shape of these sperm cells. So if these sperm cells are not in their normal shape, this means they will also not be able to carry out that function of causing fertilization of an egg. Varicocele is another cause of male infertility. And in varicocele, I will explain what it means now. Now, 
The scrotum contains veins which take away blood from the scrotum to other parts of the body. But when the valves in this vein are damaged, blood begins to flow back into the scrotum. So the accumulation of this blood leads to increase in temperature of the scrotum, which causes damage and reduces the production of sperm cells. So this also causes infertility in males. The final one on my list are the unexplained causes of infertility. Both in males and females, we have this as a problem. There is usually what is known as unexplained cause of infertility. That is when every other cause of infertility has been ruled out. And in this situation, such people are usually offered IVF as the last resort and as the best form of treatment. Thank you very much for watching till the end. If you enjoy this kind of content, please consider giving me a like and also subscribing to my channel because here I talk about women's health, fertility and everything else. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye for now.